Hello, Threadbangerlandia. This week, I'm going to show you how to make fancy beaded tiaras. Because no matter what time of year it is, you should always be able to feel a little fancy. Intermediate. For our tiaras on the cheap, we're using a skinny plastic headband, some 24 gauge floral wire I had, wire cutters, and plastic beads. Start by cutting a piece of wire that's about 6 inches long. Take one round bead and slide it onto the wire. Bend the wire slightly in the middle, then bend it over the bead like so. Now give it three good twists. Try to get the twist as close to the bead as possible. Straighten out the wire ends, then slide another bead onto the doubled wire. Push it all the way up to the first bead covering the twist. Then separate the two wire ends and put three beads onto each wire. Twist the wires together right under those beads. Straighten the wires out again, then slide another bead onto the doubled wires. Separate the wires once more and add five beads to the wire this time. Again, twist the wires together right under those beads. And your first piece is complete. Make sure to leave the extra wire on the end. That's how we connect each piece to the headband. Next, cut another piece of wire and take out three bicone beads. That's what this shape is called. Slide all three beads onto the wire. Bring the wire together to create this shape and make eight twists under the beads. Repeat this process five more times to create six little flower buds. Now, cut another piece of wire, slide one round bead to the middle, and bend and twist the wire under the bead. Straighten out the two wire ends and take out eight smaller beads. Slide seven of them onto the doubled wire. Then separate the wires, put the last bead onto one wire, and twist the wires together under that bead. Repeat this process five more times for a total of six points. Time to add your pieces to the headband. Take your first piece, find the middle of the headband, and place the piece behind the front. Wrap one wire tightly around the band. Then repeat with the second wire, wrapping it in the opposite direction. Do this for all of your pieces. Now, cut a long piece of wire and take out a bunch of round beads. Put one bead in the middle of the wire and position the wire and bead in the front middle of your tiara. Wrap the wire around the band a couple of times up both sides of the bead to secure it. Take another bead, add to one of the wires, position it closely to the first bead, and wrap the wire on the one side. Do this until you have the front covered with beads. When you reach the end, just wrap the end of the wire around the band a couple of times to secure it. You can use these techniques to create many different tiara styles. Just use your imagination, then go rock your inner princess. So we obviously love the art of DIY, especially in the kitchen. Well, our good friends over at Hungry Nation TV just launched a cool new cooking show called Working Class Foodies. It's all about making your own food while keeping it cheap and sustainable. It's pretty much like Threadbanger but with food. So when you start getting hungry after all that DIYing, check them out at HungryNation.tv. Welcome back. So there are many ways to make a tiara. I found some awesome inspiration over on Etsy. Let's have a look-see. EJP Creations makes them out of clock hands, perfect for the goth princess in you. Jezebel Charms created this awesome steampunk inspired look, and Parish Relics crafted these beautiful antique recreations. But one of my personal favorites are the simple nature-inspired bands from Headcase by G. And over on the forums, I found some great tiaras uploaded by our very own Threadheads. Muffy Stoffelis made this fancy one for her wedding, and Boo It's Brittany made these for her mad tea party. Emotional Crafter made her Sailor Moon tiara, and Glitter Image 2 made this adorable beaded one. Well, that's it for this week's show. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to send in pictures or videos of the stuff you've made. We love to see it, and so does everyone else. And leave a comment below telling us what you want to see made for the winter holidays. 
Till next time, see you later. Hi, Threadbangers. This is the mask that I made in response to the Masquerade mask tutorial. As you can see, this is the one that I lined in green crushed velvet so it would be comfy. I used ribbons to make ties because I didn't want to hold it all night. It did not take very long. I did use paper mache. It ties on and it ties and it fastens in the back. And it looks very, really marvelous if I do say so myself.